Hello friends, today we will uh, talk about one of the new features Jira have started launching that's called Calendar View. They have started rolling out for different Jira instances. It may not be in your Jira instance right now, but it will be coming up soon. This is not something new in the Atlassian uh, ecosystem. It was there with uh, Jira work management earlier. They have started rolling it out for Jira software. As of now, what you can see in the screen, this is a scrum board or where we are working on a scrum board. You have your active sprint backlog, everything. One new options that you can see over here is a calendar view. Once you open it, it will be showing you this calendar kind of view. How you can use that, we will talk about that. So over here, it will be showing three different areas. A release, under that you can have some sprints and the stories you can bring in under that. So let's assume that this is one board and we have no active sprint as of now. So let's create one sprint and I'll go into that. There are a couple of sprints are there. So I'll start some sprint. And let's assume this is Maverick uh, PI1 sprint one. I'm just starting it and I'll just make it as a two week sprint and I'll start it. All right. So the sprint is now started. Let's see what's changed. We can see in the calendar view. In the calendar view, I can go into the view settings and the sprints. You can see it started right over here from 26. Today is 26. So if I go to the next date, it still be showing the Maverick is ending over here. Now, where are the stories mapped with those dates? You can do assignment, which date you are targeting for what stories. You click on this area over here. This is what shows all unassigned stories. Now I can drag and put the stories right over here right now sometimes you realize okay this story may take two days i can drag it sometimes i realized okay this story this is some technical spike will start over here and this may take the whole week i can drag and put it right over here so this is what we have a very high level of calendar view where you can plan your stories in particular dates for a Kanban team, this is very useful. Now from this calendar view itself, you can click on any of the sprints. So it will be talking about what are the sprint details. You can get some idea. You can click on the release, this blue dot. It's talking about the releases and it shows, okay, how the release status are going on. This is one kind of view. If you see that the teams wants to plan within a sprint or within a release date by date stories, you can still do that. Whatever you are selecting, there is a filter options. As of now, it has four areas that you can filter by assignee, priorities, statuses, and if you have added any labels. And on the whole calendar itself, you have the all different filters that you create. You can define that filter. You can have one calendar and then filter it over there. Let's try on a Kanban board to see how exactly that comes up. To understand that, I'll go to a Kanban board. For this example, we'll use a program Kanban where I can see there is nothing in the Kanban board, but there still is a calendar view is coming up. Over there, it shows the PI. Where exactly these releases are? The releases that you have created right over here in the releases. If you go into the releases, this is uh, PI2 and PI1. There are two releases, PI1, which is uh, released on November 19, and PI2 is defined on June 3, 2024. So it will be still visible in our calendar. And if I go to the calendar view, I will be able to see all my features that I have planned for. So over here, what we can see, nothing is coming up. And this is happening because all the backlog items, if I go into my Kanban board, there is no items available as of now. And that's why it's not showing up over there. We may need to create some issues. So instead of creating new stories in this particular project, let me try to go to some other uh, projects. So we have some back office operation that we do. And over here, it's a calendar view. If I go into uh, over here, it's a Kanban board. And if I go into a calendar view, I will be able to select all those unassigned dates or unassigned work items, whatever the nature of work is. Now let's first click on any of them and we see what are the different informations that we have. So this is all the details that we have and we can see 
there is uh, no due date defined where is the due date okay we don't have any due date visible but i can put it into anywhere in my particular board and if i create a release for example i am creating a release and i will be create a release name let's assume uh, the start date i will be putting it somewhere 14th and the end date i will be giving uh, let's say 30th and this is uh, let's say april release okay and it will be showing me in my calendar view as an april release that okay this april release started over here so it gives a quick visibility okay instead of putting it here i should be put it right over here and you will able to see that okay this story is, is oops i clicked on something else on that image and i can uh, add any other information right from the calendar view as of now there is no due date defined for this particular one but we can define some due dates and we'll see how can how that will be appeared so let's bring up something from a different project so i will be going for another project and uh, let's say um, i have my own calendar for creating different posts and most of the items have their due dates over here if i go into my calendar view i can see based on the due dates it's already appearing in the calendar if something you have earlier what i used to do i used to create uh, dashboards and within the dashboards i used to have uh, let's say um, i think uh, that was the dashboard uh, due dates yeah niradri's post calendar and i used to have the calendar and it shows me something like that and i need to hover over to see what exactly is there and you first need to create a filter based on that you will be generating it but now the calendar view is very easy and convenient for us to bring everything right over here and on top of that you have the filter options so for example okay show me what is the current in progress status so whatever you can see is green in color those are done whatever you can see is amber in color those are kind of in progress and those gray colors are to do state so it gives me a high level visibility that what is the current state of my this particular month as we create month over month different plan if i go to let's say may we have only few items coming up which are um, uh, in progress there are many items is not there so in this kind of uh, calendar if you are working on something that you can relate calendar view will be helpful definitely you can use it i understand this is a very short video but this is something new coming up with jira on your jira software we'll come up with few more new features in jira jira have launched many other features it uh, features in uh, their uh, ecosystem primarily for jira software so stay tuned i'll come up with the new feature soon till that time have a wonderful day bye bye